Welcome to our Sophistic Online presentation. My name is Matthias Singh and today I'm going to present our new filters in Sophie Plus 2014. And to show you what is possible, I just took our standard project, the 3D multi-storing building, which you may know from other Sophistic Online presentation. So that's our building. We've got five stories, columns, walls, slabs, and if we just look at the left side hand, you can see that we also implemented different kinds of cross sections. And if we just switch to Sophie Plus, you also can see that we implemented different kinds of load cases. And if we just zoom to it, you can see that everything is at the moment just overlapped and it looks just a bit crowded. And if you want to make changes, it's not so easy. And that's why we just implemented our filter. So why using filters? Filters will help you to organize and to control your project very easy, which has the effect that you can reduce the errors in your project and also to find them very quick. It helps you also to find and to change very rapid the settings which you have done before. And for all users of all the versions of Sophie Plus, we replaced the load case browser command and also the display groups command by the filter. So you can find our filters in our sidebar at the left side hand. And there you can see that we've got two different kinds of filters. We've got the built-in filters and the user-defined filters. And for each of them, I would like to give you a short introduction. Okay, so the built-in filters are divided into filters for structural elements and loads. And you can activate a filter in just making a hook. So if we make a hook there for the structure elements filter, the loads will disappear automatically and you only can see the structural elements. So in the first list you will find every type of structure element which you also can define in Sophie Plus. So for instance points, lines, areas or openings. And if we just for instance just take the hook away for areas, the areas just disappear. And we also got the possibility to make a right click in the list and to uncheck all of them, for example. And then we just turn on the lines. And we also got the possibility, which is also just very nice, to turn off or on the visibility of other AutoCAD objects, for example, lines. And then we also just have a second list. So on the right side. And it just works a bit different. Just slide in this list with our mouse cursor. And we also got the possibility to use the control key and our mouse and to select single types of structure elements. Which is also just very nice to use. Okay, then the second filter for the structure elements. There you will find a list for your groups on condition that you gave your elements different numbers of groups. So we just uncheck all of them and just turn on the visibility of the group number zero. And then we will find a switch on the right side of the filter. And then we can just switch between the single groups. And that's just a very nice control possibility. If, if everything is just in the right group. Then we just go further and we just go to the second part of the built-in filters which is just responsible for the load cases and it just works on the same principle. So we just find at first a list for every type of load which you can define in Sophie Plus. So for example point load, line load, area load for example. And if you just take the hooks away the loads will just get invisible. And then we just have the second group or the last built-in filter is responsible for the load cases and if we just uncheck all of them and just make the group the load case number one visible you also can use the switch which is just really a nice tool to control the load cases. And of course you've got the possibility to use just one built-in filter or just all of them on the same time or simultaneously. 
and that just really gives you just a great possibility to control your system much better. So I just would like to show you before we start with the user defined filters with a, with a trick with our sidebar. So if we just make a right click on the filter tab, you can just extract this tab. And this tab is now available at the right side hand of our screen. And now you've got the possibility to work simultaneously with the filters and also with the structural elements, for example. And you also got the possibility to drag the filter tab and just drag it and drop it into your sidebar. And now you've got everything on the left side of your screen and that just really increases the workflow. And to, if you just need more information for our new sidebar, just visit our Sophistic YouTube channel. There you just will find another Sophistic online presentation. Okay. So the user defined filter has two advantages. So first of all, you can create your own filters according to your own individual ideas and needs. And the second advantage is that this filter will be stored in your DWG which has the effect that you can just read them. So how to create a user defined filter? Just press at the add new filter button and immediately a filter will be created and then we just have to make four steps. So first of all we can give our filter a name. So in this case I just want to look for the first floor slabs. Then we just have to define what are we looking for and there's also a list and this list just offers you more details in comparison to the built-in filters list and there you can find in this list you can find everything what you also can define for your structural elements and your loads so for example you can search for the CABD axis and their names or placements and their names constraints elastic links, the material, the group, for example. You can also search for load general and there you can find names, groups or direction of projection. And in this case I just want to look for structural elements, general and I just want to choose groups. Okay, then the next step would be to define the mathematic rule. So should you should your search be equal not equal or in range for example or less than and in this case I just want to choose equal and then I just have to define additional specification so I'm looking for the group number 100 and then I just have to turn on my filter and now you can see that there's only apps of the first floor. Of course you've got the possibility to create more than one user defined filter. You can create many user defined filters and I just want to give you an idea of it, what is possible so I just want to create another one for the second floor slabs and then we just have to make the same steps again. So first of all the name, then what are we looking for, so in this case structure elements, general, then I just choose group again and then the mathematic group and then the additional specification, so the group number 200. To turn it on and now you can see the slabs of two floors and uh, you know that's just a really nice tool of course as I just mentioned it to control your project and it's uh, also just very easy to remove the user defined filter if you don't want to see them anymore or it just uh, press or just click on the remove filter button and immediately the filter will just disappear and then I just would like to show you how to create or how to specify your already existing user defined filter so there's a button which is called add new rule just click on it and immediately another rule will be created and then we just have to make four steps so first of all 
we just have to define an, another mathematic rule. So, should it be AND or OR? So in this case I would just want to search for the corresponding load, so I choose AND. Then I just want to search for the load cases, so just choose Sophie plus build in and I just take load case and then I just have to define the mathematic rule and then I just have to take the load cases what I'm looking for so I just take the other list where I can slide in it so I just choose 101 to 113 and now you can see the slabs of the first floor and the corresponding loads of the slabs and that's just a really nice tool to control your system. In this Sophistic Online presentation I use the SSD and also Sophie Plus 2014. Thank you for your attention. If you have any feedback for us please let us know. You will find more Sophistic Online presentation at our homepage sophistic.com or visit our YouTube channel.